guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be explaining how to write a pen pal letter. Now, firstly I just want to draw your attention to my adorable baby Totoro. I usually show my big Totoro in all my videos and now I've added to the collection and all I need is a little white one and I've got the whole family. So I thought that was so cute on my bed so I just wanted to point that out before we get started. So I really wanted to make this video around this time of the year because I know a lot of you will either be on like YouTube breaks or you'll be finishing up school around this time so a lot of you are going to have a lot of free time and I think the perfect time to write a letter is when you do have some spare time for yourself and you're not stressing about other things it's really nice when you're writing a letter just to sit down grab a cup of tea have an afternoon to yourself and just do a bit of creative writing and that's essentially what it is it is creative and you want to get into it um, because if you don't then that's when you do write just an average letter and you may not get a long lasting pen pal friend. So let's jump right into the um, video and let's get started. So the first three things that I try to avoid when writing a letter is first um, I try not to put a lot of information about myself at the start just because essentially when you want to write to a pen pals you want them to discover you so you want there to be a back and forth exchange um, and you want them to slowly figure out who you are through each letter so that they reply and want to get to know you a bit more so when someone does chuck all the information about themselves in the first letter and it's like seven pages long it's a bit overwhelming and sometimes you don't feel like you want to write back because sometimes you don't want to put that much effort into the letter to begin with just because it is a whole lot of information and you feel like you kind of already discovered the person and that leads me on point number two which is kind of get to know who your pen pal is and how many pages they like to write. I know that when I write to you guys, sometimes I'm just writing a thank you letter back and I do just write one page. But if you guys indicate that um, you want me to be your pen pal, then I try to go for about two to three pages. Um, just because that gives me enough information to like tell a good story or put enough information in there for you get to know me and enough pages for me to start writing questions back to you. And my last point is always remember to write a question so that the other person has some things to answer when they receive your letter. So now I just want to go on to talking about what my basic kind of template is when I write a letter. So I first like to start off with a introduction if it's my very first letter or if I've already received a letter I like to start off by answering the questions that you've asked me. Um, so an introduction to a first letter may be like a simple story. So the first things I like to kind of include is a childhood memory or um, a wonderful weekend I've had. So for example, um, I live right next to the beach. I go down to the beach often on weekends. I usually like to stop off at the bakery for breakfast with my partner. My partner usually grabs a coffee and then we might walk home and watch the movies and that might be a lovely weekend. And that just shows someone that A, I live next to the beach, I have a partner, um, and you might just save some of the favourite movies that you've enjoyed and that's kind of just like a overview of your life. So little stories just give a little brief overview of who you are, what you like doing without listing things. Um, if you start off just by listing a whole bunch of things you can understand kind of who the person is but you might not get to know their personality if that makes sense. So yeah, starting off with a story or answering someone's questions in a story like format is a great way to start the letter. So the next thing you might put in your letter is you might write future goals or things that you might like to do in the future or you might like to um, suggest things to the other person that you think they would like or then after you write like a little brief story you might like to list a few things. So you might write like my favourite movies and put your top 10 movies or something. You might like to write your top 10 favourite songs at the moment. So you can do maybe like a little favourite sections just as you would see someone do like a little favourites video on YouTube. You can put your favourites for the month, favourites for the week, favourites for the year. Um, so that's another little great thing you can add to your letter for them to get to know you a bit more. So lastly, once I've either told a story, answered someone's questions 
or wrote a list of my favourites, then I like to add some really creative questions. And questions to avoid would be close questions. And these are questions that you'd give one answer to. So asking things like, what's your favourite colour, what's your age, or do you have pets? These are questions where you'd go 22, blue, and no. And you don't really want to ask these because it doesn't, like, bring out a story or it doesn't bring out more than just a one answer. It kind of just closes off the letter. You want someone to really think about it, engage, and write back a little paragraph to each question. So questions that I often put down is... If money wasn't an issue, what would be your ideal weekend? Um, if you were deserted on an island, um, what would you bring? So these are kind of like what if questions. So if you could be a fictional character, who would you be? And then I always put why on the end because I always like to find out why they would be that fictional character or if you can live in a fictional world. This just gets the person thinking in a creative way and it's super fun to find out people's answers because they're always so creative and people like to put a lot of effort into it if you ask some great questions. So I generally have my go-to questions but you can search all over the internet for creative questions to find out about people's personalities. I usually type in um, creative questions to get to know someone and Google usually gives me lists and lists to go through. Think of some great ones, write them down and you'll be surprised how creative people get when you give them a creative question. So those are my tips for the day and if you're looking what to include into your pen pal letter then I have an entire snail mail playlist. Um, if you haven't already subscribed you should check out my playlist and subscribe to my channel because I've got a ton of ideas on there, lots of themed ideas as well. And I encourage you to write your first pen pal letter if you haven't already done so and make it creative or start writing back to your pen pals in a creative way. If you have any other creative ideas that you'd like to add to your pen pal letters, let me know in the comments below. I would love to read them and include them into my letters. Thank you so much for watching and I'll actually see you in about two days because I've got a whole bunch of Christmas videos that I'm going to be uploading soon and I'm leaving for my mum's on Tuesday. So I'm going to have a really awesome um, flying home for Christmas vlog for you. Bye!